Hello everyone, uh, today we are going to learn about a software which can compress videos, um, it can actually highly compress videos without losing any quality, any noticeable quality. So uh, it is a need of the time, many people uh, at the moment they are um, involved in the online classes and uh, they, when they record a lecture or uh, make a video that has a large file size and uh, it, it is really a painful task to upload such large sized videos on YouTube or Google Drive or share them with the students. So um, I'm going to tell you about a software which, uh, which can reduce the file size uh, dramatically and you will see in the video uh, that how it can reduce the file size uh, but uh, there is no noticeable difference in the quality of the uh, video so let's start uh, we open up a browser window and uh, google.com in the google you write down uh, the name of the software that is hand break that is the name of the software so it is the best thing is this is uh, an open source and uh, free software have a look here it is an open source free transcoder for digital video files so uh, that is the best part that you don't have to pay any fee or you don't have to uh, pay the price of the software to use it as unlimited time so it's completely free so we'll go to the um, website click on the main website and uh, here you go you can download handbrake version 1.3.2 for windows 7 8.1 and 10 uh, if you you have any other operating system than this you can go to other platforms uh, but we're going to stick with this one so let's download it yep we got the download so it is downloading at the moment after it gets completely downloaded we'll install it and uh, then we're going to use it very soon there, there is one thing which I must uh, tell you in, in the meantime that uh, it actually uh, transcodes the video completely and uh, it takes a lot of time um, like it takes the time actually a video rendering software will take so you have to be a bit patient so it says that handbrake is already installed uh, click ok to remove the previous because I already have handbrake on my PC um, you don't need to worry about it you will just click a few next and then uh, finish the software will be installed so I'm going to cancel it I'm not removing the previous version and uh, here uh, this way you will click next next install and it will be installed on your computer if you want to change the location you can change it here so I'm gonna cancel this setup and uh, open up the handbrake software from this uh, start menu here it is um, and if when you click the handbrake you will see um, this is the handbrake uh, interface so I'll minimize the browser window and uh, let's open up a folder which has uh, some videos in it so uh, here is a video lecture I've uh, created for my students and uh, you can see that it is 578 MB its size is 578 MB you can see it here and uh, I'm going to put it in in handbrake so you can just click and drag the video in handbrake like this when you leave it it will start scanning and it has scanned the video here so now you have to just do one thing that is just click web optimized 
you don't need to go in any other settings if you want this is a very very quick method just click on web optimized and you can start transcoding it but i'll just quickly take you through the other um, options it has so where do you want to save the video you can um, click on browse and tell it where do you want to uh, save the video and i'll save it in the same folder and it has put a name at the end dash one i'll put it dash compressed so just to know that the new video format uh, the, the new compressed video is with this name uh, compressed at the end so it will save as mp4 type click save and then you st click start encode it will start encoding but uh, let's have a quick look at the other uh, settings of the video. So in the dimensions, it is telling you that the video was recorded actually in uh, 1920 by 1080 pixels, but it's uh, some of its area is just black. It has nothing on it. So it will crop its area to these dimensions. Th th that's automatic. You just leave it automatic. Don't do anything with it. And there are other filters. If you like, you can uh, try these. Uh, in video, uh, this is the quality actually. This uh, quality indicator, it is uh, in the middle by itself. You can drag it, but dragging it will uh, actually change the size of the video. So just leave it to the automatic and see the magic of the software. And video codec H264, this is the it is a very good video codec just leave it here and uh, all the other settings are good to go so we'll click on start encoding and uh, it has started actually you can see the percentage down here and it will uh, it is telling you that the remaining time is about 13 minutes and 24 seconds so i'm going to pause this video and when it's done i'll come back and uh, uh, let you know that uh, it has compressed the video yes and it has finished uh, the queue now we minimize this uh, software and have a look here um, if I make it as a list uh, let's have a look here so this is the video uh, which is compressed now so do you remember the size of the original video that was 578 MB and now look at the compressed video 116 mb uh, that that is unbelievable so let's have a look at the quality of the video so if we uh, open the original one first i'll just have a quick go through this video bismillahirrahmanirrahim it's voice so not to disturb you and have a look here you, you you can see the text and now we open the compressed one and you can see the text again so there you go you have learned how to compress the videos without losing quality and there is one more important thing I need to tell you uh, if you look at the software you cannot only drag uh, one video you can drag uh, a whole folder of different videos uh, if this this uh, folder videos have many files in it so if you drag it here uh, it will place all five videos in it here and uh, if you click on web optimized and then the important thing is that you have to add all the videos in the queue so just bring it here add all so now all the videos are in the queue you can see the queue has five videos and then you can start queue it will convert all four five videos and uh, then you will see the result at the end so i hope you will have enjoyed this video and if you have any questions or any suggestions for future videos just uh, bring those to me in the comments section and uh, if you liked it you can subscribe to the channel for more updates and uh, stay happy and stay safe bye bye